what is going on guys? My name is KZD and welcome back to Ark Trial Evolved and we're on the island this time. It's been a while, hasn't it? So, you might be saying, oh god, he's doing more T-Rex breeding. And you'd be right. So, deal with it. And, also, in, I'm not sure what update it was, but they changed the T-Rex war, so now it's really menacing. That's fucking terrifying. So, there we go. T-Rexes are even more terrifying now. Well, they're not really terrifying to me anymore, because obviously a base like this with a tribe is like, oh, T-Rex, and it's like daily things. When you're low level, you're like, oh shit, T-Rex, and then you get to run away. Alright, so what is going on? You are stuck in a wall, sir. You are stuck in a wall. So how are we going to... Oh, jeez. Clipping. Clipping. Can I... Can we do it this way? Like, can we actually try this? Ooh, I had it for a second. Wait. Go in. Go in. I don't think a T-Rex is going to go through there. They might have changed it, because before T-Rexes used to be able to go through, um, like, just regular dino gates. Well, that one's in there, so I don't know how... If that one's in there, why can't we get in here? My hips don't lie. Like, T-Rex hips too wide. My T-Rex is dumb thick. <laughs> With like 12 C's thick. Um, okay, I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's just, let's, let's fuck, it. fuck it, we'll do it live. It's actually what I'm doing, but whatever. So, I thought, they must have changed it, because T-Rex should just be able to fit through these, but I don't know how they would have gotten this one in here if it doesn't fit. I don't know, maybe they're just doing Houdini shit. So, let's, uh, god. They made, uh, like, I know this made it, like, definitely better without the clutter, but it's kind of annoying having to go through all this other crap just to end him wandering. Let's try it this way. And then I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, it will! And now we just constantly keep spamming you. Not, like, spamming you as in, like, oh, I'm, a uh, what is it, like, I'm, I'm an Indian billionaire, and I get a couple hundred thousand dollars, and then I'll pay you back with a million, like, the earliest, like, email scams. Ah, oh, the internet. Good times. I was probably, like, nine at that time, so, whatever. I know things. I know about the internet, obviously. I say that from, like, a standpoint, like, I guess I know what I'm talking about. And for those of you who are, like, have parents who are older... Or like say like 50s and they didn't grow up with computers say obviously because they didn't have computers in like the 70s and 80s but yeah me being 19 and having parents that are like 50 like late 50s I am basically their tech support and for those of you who know that scenario you can kind of realize how irritating it can get it's like obviously they don't know what they're doing and they're just asking a ton of, tw ton of questions but when they ask questions that are like, why is that like that? And you're like, I don't know. I, they just formatted it like that. I didn't I didn't format Windows, Mom. I can't. I don't know why they did that. They just did it. Just deal with it. And then they're like, I don't like that. I'm like, that sucks. I can't do anything about that. Just lovely parents who don't know anything about the internet. And you have to somehow like reformat the internet for them. Ah, lovely things. Then they think you're like some sort of magician because you know like even just the basics of how to work a computer. Yeah. That's how it works, right? Ugh. And, I don't know, honestly, I wouldn't be doing this right now to, like, be mating, but it is the two times, like, mating, hatching, and what have you. So we're doing this now because it's times two, and I don't feel like waiting another four days for a goddamn T-Rex, so we're going to cut that in half. Hopefully. I really hope it's the hatching. I think it was two times hatching. I don't know, I saw one of the devs post on Twitter saying it was a two times hatching. Can you two just mate for God's sakes? I'm not gonna keep standing here pressing you. Maybe? Yes? No? Can you mate? God dang it. You guys like on a break? Usually breaks means like you're breaking up after that. You just wanna see each other people? Thank you! That's all I ever wanted. Behavior. Disable wandering. Where do you think you're going? Yeah, that's what I thought. 
I know I could have easily just used like the button to press that, but I'm too damn lazy. And honestly, I don't know what the button or the key binding is for wandering. So we're going to take this. So it is between finally, and I don't know why it's probably named like that because they got like either a breakthrough in like health or melee damage or something. And then we have the Rex, which is 345. That's not the base level. It's just leveled up level. And the base level, I think, was like three, 300, 301, maybe? I don't really know. Okay, Archdevs, if you're watching this, I really highly doubt it, but here's an idea. So, if you go in the Ancestry, I feel like it should say its current level. See how it says 345 right now? It says, like, Rex, 345, and then it should say next to it what its, um, what its hatching level was, or what its birth level was. So that can help you out a lot. I mean, obviously people who are way better at breeding than I am don't usually put levels into things so they can tell what level it was when it like hatched up or what it is with the imprint imprinting. But for, you know, simple-minded people like me, that would be way easier. So I can be like, okay, this one hatched at level 305 and then I can make this one with like that level 302 or something like that. Just to make it easier. But, I don't know, it's just, it's just a thought. It's just a little pick in the brain when I can't get out of this... Okay. <sighs> One way to break the T-Rex problems. Get it to follow you. See? You see? I know what I'm doing here. But. So, we're going to go back to our base, which is like just over that way. And we're going to go hash this thing up, and I will see you guys then. So, this is going to be like an instant for you, but it's going to be like two hours and some minutes for me. And we're back here two hours later, just waiting for the Rex to hatch. Um, I feel like I should be technically 100% getting at least a level 300. That's what I, my idea is, because the one that I made it with was at least 300, and I'm pretty sure the one that I, well, mine is, it was at least 300, and the one that I made it with was probably at least 300, so probably should have, like, on averages, I should have at least a level 300. Even though it is possible to get a lower level than the parents, but I don't really think that's going to happen. I say that now, and it's like a 275 or something like that. Can you hatch, please? Like, what? What is the deal? Maybe? No? Maybe? Maybe? No? Yes? Um... Okay, you've been at like 0% for like a couple of seconds now. Anytime now. There you go, 315. Ooh, that is nice. Oh, does it have a color? Is that a color mutation? I think it is. Okay, I need to get you off um, wandering. Because I know you're going to wander. Oh, that's, that is cool. That is cool. Okay, so let's put some meat on you. So... This has, I can't even tell, because this is 4,562, and then it's 4,249. If it has a mutation, I don't even know. But I'm pretty dang sure that that red is a mutation. Because I don't, because mine doesn't have that, and I didn't know if the other one had that. So I'm, let's just call it a mutation, you know, why not? So it has, like, the mother's color, in a way, like the brown. Does it have, like... It has the brown and the green, but this is like a different tone of green, and then it has the red on the bottom. That's pretty dang cool. It's kind of like that, but it's red, obviously, instead of the green. That's pretty cool. It's got like a mixture of red, green, and white. That's nice. That's pretty neat. If you can tell it's an aspen by the way it is. So, and then it's got like kind of the red hindquarters, like, um, moving over here. Too many Rexes looking down at me. Um, like the red legs, kind of like the back of it, kind of like that, but it's more spotty, I guess you could say. Uh, why are you following me? Oh, God. Stay. I forgot they're following you when they spawn, or hatch, spawn. God, okay. Jesus. Too many Rexes. Too small of an area. Getting too cramped. So, let's go over here. Was it a male or a female? I didn't notice. I didn't really look. Don't kill yourself. I took you off of wandering. What? Disable wandering. Are you just gonna wander off into the cosmos, or what are you doing here? Why are you not wandering? Enable wandering. 
disable wandering. Okay, let's go. Maybe? Can you follow me, please? Okay, I don't want order groups. Options. No, that's not it. Behavior. Um, medium. Uh, let's change it to lowest. Oh, that's nice. I, I pressed lowest. What? Behavior. Oh, targeting. Um, follow distance. Lowest. There we go. Okay, that does make it easier for the following distance stuff. That's awesome. I will say that's cool. Okay. Come on, little dude or little girl. Are you girl or little dude? Come on. Come on, bruh. Let's go. Hopefully this fall doesn't freaking kill you, which I hope it doesn't. You have a thousand health. I don't think that should kill you. That's not going to do a thousand damage. At least I hope not. That shouldn't do a thousand damage. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't do this. Don't do this at home. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't think... I think when dinos follow you, I don't think they take fall damage. I could be wrong. Qu don't quote me on that, but if I am wrong, please tell me. But I don't think I am. I could be. I could be. I honestly could be, but I don't know. I don't think when they're following, I don't think they take fall damage. They could, and I could be wrong, or they don't, and I was right, and I'm happy about that. So, yeah. Okay, what is the intervals for... Okay, it's still three hours. Uh, is it really? I thought it was like the two times thing. Or did I just get completely screwed, and now I'm stuck for the next four days with this thing? You probably need food now. Get you over here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Yo, I'm getting rid of some shit at green if you want to do so, too. <laughs> okay. Just hatched a Rex. Or the Rex, because I hatched it. I mated it with his one of his two Rexes. Come on. I haven't even checked the stats yet. Come on. I feel like they buffed or nerfed T-Rex uh, base movement speed. Because I feel like T-Rexes were actually a little bit faster before. Um, 315 I got. Three, three, 315. Okay, can I get you to come up here on the platform? Yes, no, maybe? And stay. There we go. So that's cool. He's got like the red. It is a male. Did the last one have a red stomach? Okay. So, stats. 13k health, which is way better than the one that I would have got. The one that I would have gotten would have had um, around like 11,100. So that's definitely better, by several thousand obviously. And then has 437% melee damage. That's awesome. Um, oxygen food, no one really cares. 2,226 stamina. And then 930 weight. I think it got the weight from my T-Rex, I believe. Uh, is this that? Yeah, it's that one. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. So nine eighty six. Um. I think I did level that up a couple times. I don't know, but still nine hundred and thirty weight is pretty damn cool. And then what else do we have? Thirty thousand torpor. That doesn't really even matter. So it's whatever. No one really. And you're in the wild, nothing's going to do 30,000 torpor to you, unless you're in, like, modded. 100% um, movement speed doesn't really matter at all. They're slow now, so it is whatever. But yeah, we got, like, the color mutation. I mean, it's not really a mutation, it's more just, like, passed down the line, but it's a mutation to me. So that's pretty dang cool. The eyes are still a little weird, the, like, the overlap with the eyeball and the eyelids. I don't know. It kind of looks like it has acne. <laughs> like it has um what is that called damn it i forgot what it was called um eczema it looks like he has like a teenage angst and just like breakouts and everything all over him that's pretty funny though he's got the cute little tail i mean these things 
honestly at the point where we're at, like we, ha I'm saying, oh, we're gonna fight a boss. We haven't even got to that yet. But like, and then like Ragnarok came out, and then people are leaving our tribe. Not like, not like the animosity leaving, but like they just kind of like, okay, I'm bored. Arc now, bye. So that's kind of what's going on. Oh, excuse me. Um, that's kind of what's going on. So it's just like three of us in that tribe at this point in time, or four of us. No, three. So yeah, it's things have kind of on hold. I would, I would love to make a fighting a boss video but we just haven't really gotten around to it um time constraints obviously because that's basically with any game because arc takes forever but people on here do usually have a lot of time on their hands on my part especially um but yeah um i will hopefully eventually get a boss fighting video out i would love to do that but it's just Gotta collect a lot of stuff. I don't know what level we're gonna do it at, and then we gotta get the Rexes, like, leveled up and at the right stats we want for the boss fight. But, um, I think one of the tribe mates said they did it on medium last time with, like, sub level 250 or something like that, Rexes, and we're at over 300 now, so. I believe that should be decently easy or just, like, slightly difficult in any way, but. We have enough Rexes, and they're high enough level, and they do, like, mine did, um, this female right here, the 325, with the Uteranus, um, up, uh, percentage, like, 20% buff. It did over 10,000, almost 11,000 damage. So, if you can bring Uteranuses into boss fights, which I doubt you can, but if you know and know that you can do that, please tell me, that'd be awesome. Thank you for that. Um, but, yeah, if we can get the 20% boof, boof, buff, um... Yeah, all of our extras are going to be doing at least 10 grand, like 10k damage. And that would probably, I would think that that would wreck a boss almost, like, right off the bat. Not even taking, like, 10 minutes at all. What in the world? And, yeah. I think there's a timer on bosses, isn't there? It's like a 20 minute timer. I could be wrong, like half an hour. But it's whatever at this point in time. But, yeah. 315 Rex, pretty damn good health, and pretty damn good melee, and it has a cool color to it, so that's all I could have ever asked for, and it's already at 0.3%, and it would have not even been at 1%, or 0.1%, 0.1%, if it was not at the times too, but that's all I have for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching this, if you liked it, click the like button, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys 